we started trying to get into uh, St. Bernard area because we knew how much bad Chalmette was and all that. So we had a plan of going over to um, the ferry on the other side, went to Algiers, but we couldn't get our boats down because the ferry had been, the landing stuff was pretty much destroyed and uh, so where we could launch the boats, we couldn't. So we were trying to figure out what the next game plan was. Well, in the meantime, the ferry did start running and bringing people from St. Bernard across. Well, we started doing, a, a, we ended up working with some guys from Texas, Task Force One and some other states Fortunately, I got, I got put with some EMTs that hopped in with me and started working with me. And uh, so we started setting up triage at Algiers. And people started being unloaded by the thousands. I'm talking about women, children, elderly. Some of them were in bad shape. So what we did, we just set up, started setting up like a triage to treat and get water and do whatever we could medically to the ones who were in the worst shape. In the meantime, we were trying to get them from Algiers back over to Metairie area where the helicopters were starting to come in. I believe that was Wednesday, if my, if, if my memory serves me right. And we had no transportation. So I remember uh, somebody said, Daryl, there's a bunch of school buses. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. There were school buses over there high and dry that could be used. And uh, my guys, so I said, well, can we get them? So I remember turning in the crowd and said, can anybody start a school bus for us? And they had a couple guys, you know, yeah, I can get them started. I said, y'all go grab some school buses. And so, sure enough, my guys took off, and, and about 30 minutes later, boy, here come the school buses. They, they got them all started, about six or seven of them. In fact, we got pictures of them. And so a lot of people don't even know. We had school buses there. We couldn't get the National Guard in for a while, but we had the school buses cranked up that they just hot-wired. But we couldn't figure out where to take the people. We had no communication, so it took us a while, but once we finally just made the decisions to try to get them back over the Crescent City connection, back through Gretna and to Metairie, we started rolling out, then a National Guard rolled in with some of the big uh, deuce and a half and stuff. But we, all those buses were sitting there. I don't think anybody else ever thought of hot wiring them, but we, we hot wired them and got them going and loaded them up with people to try to get them out.